This is a quick little film. Not really a film. It's a quick video, but I'm filming it. So it's a film. Little brain teaser for you. Hello, sunshine. It's your girl, Rachel. Back at it again. Today's video is going to be a room tour. Um, so just gonna show you around my room. Uh, you might see a lot of my decorations, but uh, I'm probably not gonna tell you about every last one. Let's get to showing you what I've done to decorate my room. Amazing. Uh, and I just have a balloon taped to my door. This is the very beginning of the first book of Harry Potter. I like it a lot. It's real pretty. And it's super, it's like an artsy way to display Harry Potter. I actually have a few Harry Potter display things, or like decoration things, throughout my room, which we're actually moving to number two right now. This is one that my aunt made for me um, in a craft exchange a few years ago. You might recognize pieces of of this little area. You don't actually see my bottom shelves because there's nothing there. Um, so I'm actually going to move down to my shelves because my bulletin board is a lot to cover. I have some shelves. You'll see a few shelves throughout my room because I have a shelf collection. And we have Harry Potter decoration number three. It is also made by the same aunt. There are these giant paper clips. It is Harry, Ron, and Hermione. And I just have little quotes in here. I'm going to be really honest with you guys. I have a lot of collections. I like, I like to collect things. Um, so you'll notice that theme, um, that I have a lot of collections. Consider bottles and jars one collection. So you can see I have one mason jar back here. Boop. And I just filled it with ribbon. I have some cute pens in it. And then I have some pretty bottles back here with flake with fake flowers. And then you'll recognize this because that's my fake succulent planter. This is a picture that my aunt made me. beyond the first shelf are undone, but I have a couple things down here that are cool. I have this Coca-Cola cup, and then I have a few books. So I have a select few of my books over here um, to be in my background. Um, this is a book I actually got recently, You Can Do All Things, by uh, Kate Allen, or the latest Kate on Instagram. Uh, it's really cool. Yeah, it's really awesome. I would recommend you guys check her out. Uh, and then just a few other of my favorite books. I really like Pride and Prejudice, but it was a little big for my background. It didn't fit in this shelving area, so I got Emoji Pride and Prejudice, which was a gift from my friend, uh, which is both funny and cute. Um, I have After the Witch Hunt by Megan Fowley, which is a poem book, because uh, I love poetry, both reading and writing it. Um, I have No Flying in the House, which is a kid's book that I really liked, Ella Enchanted, which is one of my favorite books from growing up, and then A Thousand Tattoos. I really like coffee table books, so this is one of my favorites, and I also really love tattoos. Then I have this jar, which a friend of mine painted for me, so I really like that. Then I have this canvas that I painted. This. I pointed it out before, it's Cows and Moo Moos. It's a painting that my brother painted me. Um, it's of me and him. This beauty is a constant work in progress, which is honestly kind of how I like it. Um, it's my bulletin board. Um, 
you might notice small things changing in the background, but a lot of the big stuff stays the same. Um, so I'll show you a few of the bigger things, as well as a few of the smaller things, but I'll show you mostly the things that are going to stay the same. I have right here, this is a watercolor painting that one of my best friends made for me. It says, we're only haunted by the things we refuse to accept, which is a quote by Bridget DeVoe. Don't know if I said that right. So I really like it. It's really cute. This is a bookmark my sister embroidered for me. It says the littlest birds sing the prettiest songs. Uh, a Valentine that my friend made me. Let's hear, let, or, sorry, let's have another toast to the Rachel Almighty. It's a reference to a One Direction song. My favorite screenshot from She's the Man. Catholic um, and so this is from a very meaningful um, moment in my life when I was in high school um, it was an exercise maybe if it's a story for another time but I like to hold on to it because it reminds me that uh, people love me and so does so does Jesus yeah there's a lot of drawings on here that people made for me my friend in high school drew that for me a different friend in high school maybe the same friend. I actually don't remember anymore. Multiple friends. I had two friends in high school who would draw me pictures. So one of my friends painted this for me. One of them drew that and then one of them drew that and then one of my co-workers drew this for me which is really cool. It's an Etsy shop. He does a lot of really cool stuff. I'll link it down below. This is another picture of my dog. So cute. These were made by two different people, so the, the weaving is, that's in the middle, was woven by my sister. She's a very talented woman. I love it a lot. And then the ones, the pictures on either side were, they're, oh, I was going to tell you how they were made, but honestly, I don't want to get it wrong. But they were made by a friend slash co-worker from college. Um, I will link their Etsy stores down below. Um, this is a painting of the Star of the Sea um, by brother Mickey O'Neill McGrath. Maybe he's not a brother. I might be wrong. Um, his name is Michael O'Neill McGrath. but I had signed, which is cool. All right, so this is my Oma's um, old handkerchief. Not old like it's like ratty, but like old like it used to be hers. Um, she passed away a few years ago uh, and my aunt made sure that a lot of, at least a lot of us got them, yeah. Right below it, I have this, which I painted. I think the birds are stencils, so don't give me too much credit. Underneath this uh, is actually a quote that I have over on my bulletin board. You're not gonna be able to see it. It's a very small quote. I don't want it zoomed in. But uh, it's one of my favorite quotes. Here, I'll pick this up. Um, it says, We've all got light and dark inside us. What matters is what we act on. That's who we truly are. So it's one of my favorite quotes. I think that I put the wrong book on this though. What a fool. 
So this is actually a shelf that I turned into bookends. Um, so I don't want to take all the books off, but it's pretty cool. I put buttons on one side, I painted it, I put little tiles up the edge. Um, I put broken tiles underneath and then I put, so I could only find the Scrabble for book, but I wanted it to say pick up a book, so I just made them. Yeah, yeah, I made it like little homemade bookends. So these are my very favorite books right up here, um, which are the Harry Potter series. And then Pride and Prejudice, and this is my very favorite book from when I was a child, A Dog's Life. This is my rock collection. We finally made it. We made it to my rock collection. That's it. Oh, wait. One more. I think I'm missing one. I can't find it. Okay. Um, but that's about it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, uh, yeah. So, I collected rocks as a kid. So I have a few rocks that I'm going to point out before I move on to the next thing. Uh, I have this rock which I found like this with rock written on it and then sharpied black on the back. And my aunt gave this to me painted. It's a butterfly. It's cute. It is my Oma's. Yeah. I also have more. Oh, I guess these are rocks. These are geodes. Fun. Okay. I have more shells throughout this. This is a little Cinderella shoe. I was an extra in my middle school production of Cinderella. Um, they had these little favors that were these plastic shoes. I liked it, so I kept it. Um, I have these little glitter pills inside. Uh, I just think they look cool. Are dangerous though. These are two of my favorite rosaries. This one was blessed by Pope Benedict. That's some holy water. Uh, this is a uh, jar that looks like a light bulb that I filled with these little clear marbles. Okay. an elephant that my sister carved for me. I have a lot of things that my sister made for me. I don't know if you can tell. is a really funny picture from my childhood uh, from when my sister did uh, the flower baby thing and uh, my mom took a picture of me with it because it was funny and we've had it framed for a long time and my mom was talking about getting rid of it and instead I kept it is these giant peacock feathers so these peacock feathers are real peacock feathers that my aunt actually uh, picked up. She used to have peacocks on her farm um, and when they shed or molted their feathers she would just pick them up and she gave me a bunch of them. And I have a mirror because I can show you myself. Oh this little guy. That's a little stick figure that my friend made jar I have filled with these little beads. I like them a lot. I have more shells. Boop. Um, I have another rock that's actually like really dusty 
but the dust is stuck to the puffy paint because me and one of my best friends puffy painted rocks for each other in 2012. Don't know if you can tell. Handmade decoration. This actually was a box. You can tell because there's little hinges right here from where I broke it off. But um, this was the inside of my box. Um, I couldn't bring to the, myself to throw away the box because I liked the inside so much, but I didn't like the rest of it. I wasn't using it as a box, so I just broke off the top because it was that I made. These jars, these two jars, man, oh man, these are the jars that started my jar slash bottle, um, collection. Uh, they're the jars that started it all. Uh, I'm now obsessed and addicted and I love them. A um, few more collections to round out. I think that's the very end of my jar collection. I showed you the end of my shell and rock collection. This is the second to last of my, I guess it's not a collection, but items from my Oma and Opa's house that I've inherited. Um, they live in an area that uh, has a lot of crabbing, um, so they had this as decoration. Actually, the last thing is this really cool book. So it's this old book that is a book of poems uh, called The Eve of St. Agnes, and St. Agnes is my patron saint. And it's cool for this. My, one of my best friends made this for me. Um, it is not a Harry Potter book in the background. Um, but it is a cool book. And it just says, until the very end, which is a beautiful quote. Um, these little good luck pigs. I don't know what to do with them, but like, <laughs> Like, I don't want to get rid of them because I love them. And then I also have this really cool basket uh, filled with, like, spa goodies. I think there's, like, a candle in here, too. Oh, JK, this is the last Harry Potter thing. I forgot I had this. Christmas at the Burrow. It smells great. It's a candle, but it's about it, folks. Like this video, if you did, hit the like button. Uh, please subscribe to catch all my new videos and ring the notification bell. Uh, my social media accounts will be down below as well as a few Etsy shops for people who I featured in this video who have made decorations for me. Um, see you guys next time. I have some great things planned. Peace, love, and buttercups. Mwah.